Time to sell some insurance. I'm doing it! Nope, Matt, no. Come I'm on, doing man. It. Dude, huh? let me get behind something. No, 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 it's fine. We have to know what happens when you shoot something point blank. We really don't have to. We have to no, know! No. Can't, wait, can't, Three, no, hey, hey, two. hey! What? Can we just use the mannequins? No, I'm doing it! Oh, oh <laughs> shh. We left the ammo back at the truck. Alright, we'll, we'll do it your way. Hey, guys, welcome to Demolition Ranch. I'm here with my Nemo Arms. Rifle, don't look at it yet. I'll show you that in a minute. Because right now we got these two anvils, which are pretty cool. These are real anvils. You can see all the dents from doing some real blacksmithing. But what's interesting is one of them is hardened. So we wanted to see, well, of course, an anvil can stop a bullet. We want to see what they can stop. And then we want to see the difference between a regular anvil and a hardened anvil. So this one's been heat treated. So the way you can tell, they make a different noise, but this one also bounces way less than this one. So this is a much harder anvil. It's very bouncy. And this one's much softer. See? As you can tell, we got a hard anvil. So, we're going to be shooting them with a variety of calibers. Let me show you which... Sh sh let's go over there. This is the Nemo Omen. Oh, this is my floor. Hey, uh, so the Nemo Omen, it's pretty cool. Chambered in 300 Win Mag, which we have a AR chambered in 300 Win Mag. We have a Falcor Petra. This one is a little different. Has a longer barrel, carbon fiber, as you can see. We went ahead and put a big old scope on it, a Vortex Razor HD. This is a six to 36 by 56. Big old scope on this thing because this thing should be able to reach out very far. Uh, one other difference, this one has a charging handle right there on the bolt, whereas the Falcor has a typical AR-15 charging handle. Otherwise, all typical AR-15 controls, you got safety back here, mag release back here, bolt release on the left side. They give you a couple spots for a sling to mount. We have a little rail up front, but there's M-lock all down the sides of it. We put a bipod on the front, and it is a very sick looking rifle. I like the paint scheme. Pretty awesome. So today, we're gonna fire it. I have yet to fire this thing. But first, we're gonna start a little bit smaller and work our way up. You can see we have uh, a myriad of big boy rifles on this table. But we're gonna start first with the biggest of boys. That was, I don't know. The big boy is the 22 long rifle. I'm gonna try to smoke one of those. This might end the video right here. And we put those mannequins at like three feet away to see if they catch any shrapnel because we want to see what would happen if you actually shot a hardened anvil at point blank range. All right, I'm gonna hit left one. That'll hit. And let's hit the right one. That's a hit. All right, 22. I'm assuming there will be no damage to our mannequins. Let's go find out. We have a hit right there. We have a hit and a hit there and nothing on these two fellas here. These are some very feminine mannequins. Look at these guys. His pink eyebrow. I mean, we just ordered some mannequins and this showed up. Don't wear makeup, dude. Weirdo. This is my straight from Russia dragon off. It's definitely the $30,000 rifle and not the Romanian clone. 7.62 by 54R. Oh, the scope is so yellowed and old, but I'm gonna do my best to hit that thing. Left one. Oh, I think I missed. Not sure where this one's pulling. And we're going right one. That one hit. That was a hit. Let's go check it out. Boom. 
before we look at the mannequins, let's check these out. Uh, this one was actually, they, they really look the same, honestly. I thought they'd be a lot different because these should be, this, this is much harder. The guy we bought these from was like, this is hardened, and he showed us the hammer trick, and it is obviously different. But we got a good, I would say quarter inch deep, maybe a little more hole in this one. About the same in this one. This one kind of went out the side, but both our mannequins have some damage. So this guy has very light scuff over here. Looks like some pieces hit him there, a little bit there. Remember our duct tape got a little hit here. Little nicks, nothing bad. This guy took a freaking bullet though. You can see all this shrapnel right here in his leg. Big pieces there and one big piece went right through and out the backside right there. And this is stuff hitting too. So he took a big chunk of bullet straight to the leg. That one could have been deadly, honestly, with the second rifle we've used today. So let's step it up. 300 Winchester Magnum. So big old boy and should do some damage. We're gonna actually just shoot some steel first because I have not shot this thing yet. We'll see how it goes. Jump cut now. Got it. Okay, let's see how she runs. It actually is pretty light. Can kind of one hand it. For a big old sniper rifle, the big old round, it is fairly lightweight. I'm just gonna go center mass on our front target. Ow, this is loud. But solid hit. Sweet, all right, let's go headshot on our big target. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can tell, but those are all headshots at 100 yards. Just boom, boom, boom. Dude, this gun is nasty. And that brake does a really good job. It is loud. Like this might be a plug and earmuffs kind of gun, but brake really works. It's not moving the gun hardly at all. Let's get some more. Jump cut. Let's do some transitioning. I'm gonna go big, middle, small, and the small one should get knocked down. There's a decent chance I put a hole in that small one. It's definitely not rated for 300 wind mag. Dude, holy It's so crazy. I didn't think I'd be like just mag dumping a 300 wind mag, but that is freaking fun. Y'all hear that? Did you know that Nemo dab backwards is bad omen? Well, now you do. Oh. <laughs> we broke it. hot these are yeah they're warm nice and warm let's go investigate all the stuff we broke i need to wear double ear protection if i'm going to shoot a whole mag of that again Shoot, dude. 
That 300 is chewing it up. This is made for 50 BMG. That 300 though is going so fast. Ah, dog, good as new. This is a half inch thick. Dude, there's a dent in every one. I haven't shot 300 in a while at steel. Uh, yeah, that chews it up pretty bad. But this thing doesn't have holes in it. Hit there and hit there. Not even dented. How is this one so strong? I guess the knockdown really helps to relieve some of the power. Okay, something we did through shrapnel into this guy from the back side. I don't know what though. It must have been that flipper plate must have let pieces through. So this guy has been hit, but you can tell from the front nothing hit him there. Time to shoot some anvils. We'll see what happens. Now we're going to shoot the anvil. We have two rounds that are regular soft points, and then we've got some uh, some better rounds that are going to go pretty hard. Jump cut. Left anvil, left side is going to be soft point. Yep. Soft point, right anvil, left side. Okay. Left anvil, right side with a spicy round. Oh, ding. And right anvil, right side. Uh, the mannequin definitely was moving. I think I saw him wobbling. I think he got hit. He didn't get hit. What? Oh, there's a little bit of shrapnel. I saw him like, seemed like he was bouncing like that. There's a little bit up here in his shoulder. Nothing bad though. That's all from earlier. That's a scratch. That's new. This is new. Scratch there. Not bad. This is pretty exciting though. Oh my gosh. This is the new whole soft point. Pretty deep. It, it looks the same as the soft point on this side. I really thought these two would be different, but they look very much the same. The uh, spicy round went deep. Nothing, of course, came out the back because these are like four or five inches thick, um, but you can't see how long it went in there. Everyone's gonna be like, someday metal. If only you got like a stick or something like off of the tree over there. Or like a rod that we could measure. Nope, y'all were wrong. Y'all wanna film it going in? Oh wow, that's not very exciting. All right, one inch. <laughs> Soft one, exactly the same. I also was just thinking, they may, blacksmiths will be able to tell me this, I don't know. They may have just hardened the top of this one. Like we may be shooting the sides thinking they're different, but maybe they only got this red hot and quenched it, just that surface. So this may be why these look exactly the same when we're shooting sides. I put them at an angle with the top that is obviously different when you hit it with a hammer. We'll see what happens when you hit it with a 338. That's how you sight in a gun properly, is you make sure it falls over onto the scope. 338 Lapua out of the Armalite AR-30. We're gonna see if we can do some damage with this big girl. Did that miss? Pretty sure that missed. So when I said we're gonna see if we can do some damage, I meant actually we're gonna see, and we found out you can't. All right, I'm gonna do it again. I'm not sure. I shot one round at the flipper target and I missed the whole thing. So I aimed at the very bottom of it and I think it hit dead center. So I think this thing's only off by like 15 inches at 100 yards. So I'm just gonna aim 15 inches low and see if we can get away with not actually having to go sight this thing in. Firing. Yeah, buddy, that was a hit. I'm aiming under the table. Dang it! That was a miss. Oh, I see where the other one hit. It hit way high. It's going higher than I thought. I'm just gonna aim two feet low. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that hit. I'm aiming so far under the target. I should set in these guns. Yeah, buddy. Let's see what we got.
our theory was correct. Only the top is hardened because this is where I hit the first shot. I hit it right there and I was like, I don't know if that's hardened. I should maybe try to hit this. Look at the difference between there and there. Barely a dent there. And then here's our non-hardened one where the 338 hit. It bent it out here. Crazy. So, yep, there's your difference. The side of them, no different. The tops, way different on stopping those big boy rounds. Y'all wanna shoot an intervention or nah? No? Skip it. Oh, yes? I don't really know what you're doing. The uh, 408 Shytac, it's a mean round. Look how sharp that bad boy is. I don't know what this is gonna do. Uh Mm. That was close. Jeez, man. Holy. You're really playing with fire over yeah. here, dude. All right, jump cut. Yeah. Oh, we got we got a canted red dot. We can just do do that. This one was sided in the last time we shot it, but so was the 338. We're uh, just shooting the tops of them now that we figured out it's way different. Let's see what a 408 does. That was a direct hit. That one is sided in like a good gun should be. That like jumped backwards. Where'd all the stuff come flying off of? Is that the table? Let's go look. Oh, that's cool. That's a solid copper bullet. It actually made less of a dent than the 338 did. Here, it's about the same, but you can see how it's copper colored. Easy to tell which one that one was. But, same thing, harder surface, softer, bigger hole. Nothing's ricocheting anymore. We have another gun, it's a little bit bigger, and I think we need to scoot the anvils a little closer to our guys for science. I moved them, and I spread them. So okay. now they're pointing right at these guys. So we'll see what happens. 50 BMG, we have okay okay we got two regular fmjs and two not regular fmjs they're spicy boys so shoot each target once firing <laughs> boom and one more all right let's shoot the uh spicy boys i'm not sure where exactly these are going Actually, what I was hoping would happen. I was hoping one would finally knock it over. All right, let's go see what we got with the 50 and see if our buddies down there who aren't wearing clothes and they're wearing lots of makeup got hit. I'm trying to figure out, oh man. I went too far right with, uh, looks like full metal jackets. So this is a 50 BMG full metal jacket and then on top of it is the spicy round. But really did nothing. So that's the very hard, we did go through a hand here on the way in. No real ricochet though, no damage. This guy would have survived. A little bit of tape, got some holes in it. I mean, flesh wounds only. There's a little bit of metal stuck on them right there, but nothing big. That's crazy that the full metal jacket does nothing. Also, if you're wondering what this round is, that was a, one of our practice shots off camera. We're trying to get our guns more sighted in for you guys. So the softer metal, where's the 50 cal hit? I wonder if we missed on this one. Oh, there it is. This one was at an angle like this. So I was aiming a bad, poorly, my bad. It could have been anyone. I think the sun was in my eyes and the wind is, this is not a regular size anvil. But the one that we care about, hold on. All right, this is why we don't actually check depth on these because it's way more fun to be like, man, I got no idea how deep that went. It could be six, seven inches. I don't know. Nice. Nice. When really it's only two. Womp womp. What are you doing? Hey, give me a ride. The Nemo Omen. It's pretty sweet. And uh, it has a tunable gas block up there, adjustable gas block, I mean. 
Um, and so we are going to actually get a suppressor. I have a suppressor coming for this thing. I've never fired 3 in wind mag suppressed, and this would be a perfect platform for that. So we're going to put a suppressor on it, not on camera, because, you know, don't want to mess that up again. And I think this gun is going to be a freaking sweet package. And you know how I like sweet packages. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Demolition Ranch. I love you, and I'll see you next time with my sweet package. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor. <laughs>